Hello everyone, this is Bitro Butkina 7, back with some more Daily Rooms of Death War 16 in the War Saga. That's enough categories for you. So yeah, anyway, in the last part we were working on a tab level. And actually realizing that this tab level is actually a pretty big level. <laughs> That's a pretty big tab. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, so some water skippers have to be killed. There's, there's a briar. It's uh, tricky. There's some roaches as well. That's also tricky. I think I might want to deal with those. Ideally. Okay, just gonna clear this up. Clear the issue up a bit. You know, I should be good to deal with everything else, and, uh, yep. Alright, just gotta kill some seep now, because you're stupid. Okay, also I'm wary of the briar. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's not ideal. Okay, so I have to make my way over here, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, because the bar is going to grow into an uncomfortable position not long from that point. So... Just gotta... When did these guys get there? Well, I guess they have always been there. Alright, so let's go over here. Okay, this is seriously getting impossible to deal with. Okay, if I stay here, I should be able to kill some sheep. If not a lot of them. Anyway, I'm gonna start clearing out some seeps of my own. Because the briar is getting pretty strangely close. Okay, so another thing I need to be careful of is do not let anything get in like that. See, don't let that happen. Okay. So I want to open this. And there's a trapdoor over there. Okay. Alright. For some reason, that's the only part of the level with hot tiles. Okay, so I can go in here, close this, wait this out, and here we go. That was actually kind of neat. I had fun. So, okay, that thing is definitely not a duck. Those are on flick, though. Ugh, on flick. Why do they have to be on flick? I hate on flick. You kill the brain, that's not nice. Or good. At all. Oh. In case I have to get to a safe spot. ASAP. Is it me or have I not seen a lot of brain arms like? Just a strange observation I realized about. Also, seep on broken walls, that's very underutilized. Okay. Best hope is to have the stalwarts kill that arm flick. Yes! Awesome. Hopefully, I can sandwich some goblins. Oh, there you go, I just did. This guy seems to be actually capable of... No, never mind. Alright, there we go. That killed him, right? Alright. Thank you for your help, Mr. Friend. Guy... Guy... Consider shift and control, friend. Friend, friend, essential friend. No, stay, stay, you're not my friend. Stop, stop calling me a friend. 
Shift? Okay, yeah, shift. I see what you mean. Yeah, now the problem is that the Fagundals are not going to be very helpful. You know? Good thing I don't have singular undo, that would be annoying. Okay, so now they're just not bothering anymore, okay. a step in some direction. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, that's very good. Let me see if I can't take advantage of that. Aha! Okay, awesome. That was actually pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I really like this room. This this series is getting a lot better at its rooms now that it moved on to the city beneath. I don't know what changed in its mindset, but seriously, these are these have been very quality things so far. Like not everything has been high quality, mind you, but be fair, it it got close. It got close. There's a lot of strategy involved, so that's definitely a good thing. So there's a scroll over there. Something's gonna happen. My essential friend will think before attempting to unlock, unlock, and prevail at the coming episode. Yeah, I'll think about it. Friend, friend, guy. All oh, right, scrolls block brains for some reason because paper. No, the scrolls in the eighth are made of a very anti-intelligent substance. Clearly, I don't see any other way to put it. You not be stupid. No, no, I see what you're trying to do. It's kind of clever. If I was stupid. Which I'm not. So. With all that said and done, let's kill a brain. That'll teach him for being intelligent. <laughs> so mix.
Please tell he's gonna make. Please stop doing that. Okay, the queen being stuck on the Yomflake is actually a pretty good thing. Problem is, this goblin is not a good thing. Let's do that thing I did before. This one. He just had to take care of most of the issues. Boom, and here we go. I was right again. That is a thing that is going on. I can certainly describe it by saying that. Okay, doing that will decrease the number of roaches I have to put up over here. And there's some stuff going on over here with a uh, bunch of rafts. I could make my way down there. That'd be cool, I guess. But I'm I'm too hell bent on clearing this up, so I'll do that instead. Got him over here. I guess that does something. Okay, that's all of the queens to the north of us. So now we can focus fully on these jerks. Good thing they're dead. Good thing they're dead. Alright, so with all that done, let's save. Because the author actually gave us a checkpoint this time around. I'm gonna kill this last one, I don't need anything. Okay, so now there's a series of rafts. They really are, indeed, a series of rafts. Okay, so with that, there's something beyond that master wall. That's interesting. Anyways, a pit. Kill a goblin. You can go up here. Is there anything I missed in the other holds? Like anything that might seem like a post master content thing. Seems like I might have missed something really big. These guys are smart, I think. Hordes of goblins are the laziest way to make something challenging, quote unquote. I swear to God. <sighs> yep, this is fun, isn't it? No, it isn't. Maybe the formation I put didn't make it didn't make it seem all that great of an idea, but yeah, 
Christ. So, no matter how you put it, dispatching goblins one by one like this, this is not my ideal way to spend a vacation. It really isn't. I'm definitely not enjoying the circumstances involved in this. See, this is already a lot better. So with that, with that comes great responsibility, I think. Or maybe something else. Maybe it comes with great sandwiches. But really, that question does beg to be asked. And I can't help it. Is it... You ask me nicely, I'll generally do what you want me to do. Even if it's counterproductive to my life. Yeah, I never had a great sense of life productancy or whatever. The heck? Yeah, so... Goblin, I will do something to you and it'll hurt, maybe. Probably. Don't do that. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there's a tunnel over here. Let me use that. Wait, that's a bad idea. Because golems. Maybe I can get... Okay, that's not too bad. We can delay the attack or something like that. Stop splitting off to the side, gosh. Oh, there we go. It's already a magnitude more manageable. But this will make it even easier. Alright. There's only one more goblin. Funny thing, the goblins and the golems were pretty much the only real graphical change that were made in between Journey to the Rude Hold and to the City Beneath, as far as I know anyway. Okay, so somehow I'm supposed to know how to get over there. Oh. Okay. Yes, the scripting is very much alive in our world. Those shall not kill. Alright, I won't. Seriously, what is this? The Bible? Why am I suddenly being chastised for killing monsters? What? Since when does rotating my sword constitute a kill? You idiot, you don't even know how things work. Seriously. You did it wrong, buddy. You wanted to have a puzzle where you don't kill things, but you move only when I rotate my sword. You are wrong, Mr. Guard, and I do not intend to spend any more time with you. And so I won't. Time to clear this room instead. With less stupidity. Seriously, that guy's really stupid. Like, oh my gosh. How stupid can you get? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That was 
very pathetic. Carrying on, I got burned. That will not happen ever again. So now I gotta kill these guys intelligently, I guess, quote unquote. How dare you. I'm going to sue you for that, I think. Okay, actually I need to get this guy off of the raft because I need a raft to proceed to my life's death. Okay, so there's some gel, I have to clear gel, that's always a nice little trip to Hawaii. Except when it isn't. Also, gear, cl gear clearing, gel clearing, get my mouth. Gel clearing with Wubba's, that's, uh, that also sounds like fun. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that's already bad. Um, that also. That also, also. Anything that creates too much of a flat edge is gonna be bad for your health. So don't do it. Okay, this seems like a good place to start. Let's keep on cutting. Oh. Mm. I could have perhaps done this slightly better. Wait, no, this is only cuttable from the side of the orb. Actually, what does the orb do? Oh. Well, I'm stupid. I thought I had to clear all the gel. Nice move, Kame. You really tricked me. You fool. How dare you trick me. You jerk. Only jerks trick people. Especially in a puzzle game. Anyway, these Wobbas can go die for all I care. So I'll have him do that, I guess. So there's a pressure plate I need to hit. Let's hit it! For some reason. It doesn't seem to accomplish much except making me do more moves than is necessary. Stalwarts and stuff. They are all not very intelligent. Sadly. Oh, he got stuck in a loop. Oh, that's sad. For a seemingly haunted doors going nowhere, ask my son. His is the basic drawing. I had the rough edge. Ah, so he adds the edge. This is a very edgy room. So I can gather. Alright. You're welcome, Mr. Stalwart. So a lot of brain here, I guess. Okay, so now I'm stupid. And so are these guys. Cool. That's always nice. Alright, so time to clear up some dudes. There's a bunch of stalwarts in here for some reason. No way to get in. Nope. As far as I can see, anyway. There's a bunch of bombs. Bombs are nice, I guess. If you really, if you really dare to say that, you crazy mind person. There's an orb. Oh, it actually opens the way. Oh, so the, the guys were just really stupid and got themselves all blocked up. So, okay, I have to hit that mega plate for reasons untold. Alright, let's hit it and go over here. Sword, get out of the way. The, the, the big cursor one. Kill dudes! Yeah, that's fun. Especially when they grunt. That's also fun, I guess. Okay, so we have a new type of rotatey, spinny thing. Yay. Let's check and trim down the number of jerks right now.
With six skippers a turn, we should end up being doable at some point. Ugh, skippers. Is there anything more frustrating? I cannot be sure to even think that would be true. I guess I have to make it through these dudes then. Not even that that much helpful. If anything, they do more killing of me than they do killing of them. Okay, scroll. Go east all the way from here. Do you think it's a good spot? No, it's not. Oh, you mean like that? Okay. Well, I, okay, that's that's an all right spot, I guess. It's gonna only move on my tile if it kills me. No, I'm good. I don't care much for your challenge, mister. Okay, so... Here is a thing. Alright, let's deal with the birds. These birds, the black ones. Might as well call them crows, because that's obviously what they are. And can't you read? And yes, reading involves looking at images. Can't you read? Once I make it to that arrow, I guess something's gonna happen, maybe? Okay, here we go. That's what I wanted all along. Didn't even need those hot tiles. I assumed I would need a wrap, but really, that was just pointless. It's for losers. Rafts are for losers. Oh! We are now inside the city hall. Wait, how'd you... Why did I move down? Really? That's gonna be the mystery of a lifetime. Why did I even move down? Stalwarts! Again. So, this guy is breaking things. That's not too surprising, actually. I've known him for a couple years, he does that sometimes. Okay, so this is just gonna kill everything. Okay, all right. In that case, I don't care that much. I am too apathetic to the cause. Why? Why are you guys doing this? There's no brain around. Oh, great! I can't go that way. I guess that is a clever trap. Okay, you jerks, get your butts in here so I can kill you and stuff. Why are they being so smart? They're not supposed to be smart. They're goblins. Goblins are not smart. I mean, gosh. Health, come on. Okay, they... It doomed itself. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty cute. That's real... Gosh darn cute. So, I had to make my way in there, didn't I? There's a clone. Oh, wait, there's a way in. Out. Come on. Yeah, like, come on, I mean, stay put, obviously. 
I'm a slayer. Okay. I will choose my starting move. There's a pressure play, I guess. Okay, so the Slayer mechanics makes, th makes this very interesting because I can also body kill on top of sword killing. Although I'd like to be careful. Yeah, the preferable spot for starting this would be to kill Queen's... Try to nab the ones that are running away. Really. Map is like one of these. Okay, they're. Oh, they're clones! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I can just switch around. Well, I had a feeling that would have been a bit too impossible if that hadn't been there. This is not gonna get tedious soon. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up using the normal beef through tactics even though I'm a slayer. Because I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> Actually, if I lock one of the clones up, I can use that as a very interesting locale. Wait, why did these guys suddenly... Oh, found them. Okay. That's exactly what I said I would do. And I did it accidentally. Yeah, seems, seems real. Okay. Okay, can you stop doing that, buddy? Okay, let's see if I can get these queens to kind of flee closer to life itself. Usual strategy of kill as often as possible, I guess, comes into play here. Actually, that does nothing to do with anything. I don't know what it would have to do with anything, but it, I guess something will happen, maybe. And I'll keep mumbling my way through my lines. Yes, I'm a great actor. Mumbling through your lines is something that all great actors should do always. Also potions, I guess. Alright, that's another queen down. My goal in life is to kill queens. That way, things happen, I guess. Alright, this dude will push him downwards. So I probably wanted to push him further out of the way of that. But, yeah. but actually, I know how to deal with this. Hold on. Okay, so if I wait just long enough. And get those stupid queens. A good position. I could push them downwards. When they're in the right position. I 
Let's see if I can get a golem to show up here. Really oh! 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 Wow. That seemed like it could have been great, but it wasn't. Alright. Mumble, 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 grumble, grumble, mumble. In a nutshell, am I right? Also, this is seriously tedious. Uh, can we get this over with? I have food to get to, among other things. I mean, actually, this is the first uh, the day I'm recording this. It is the very first day of my summer break, so... Yeah, the fact that I'm wasting it here seems slightly wasteful. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. We're 30 something minutes now. And I still haven't figured out the point of my existence. Okay, if it's this guy that'll run. Oh, we get stuck. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Seriously, this is really tedious. Like, this, I'm not even really having to restart the room. I'm just kind of flipping between clones like an idiot. And that noise! Holy carp, could they have gone with a worse deaf sound? <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. You can't even stop it from playing! Every time you die. Every time! Good grief, it's annoying. Don't do that, you guys. If you're ever making a game, don't make a death sound you can't cut off if it's that long and that annoying. Especially if the game has you dying over and over and over and over and over again. Seriously. Guys, don't do this. This is probably one of the worst design aspects of Dinners of Death ever. The only plus side? The death sound cuts off if you die. That's the only case that happens. It seems anyway. Anyway, if I just make it up there, good grief. Can you not let a slayer get to his objective? I thought you guys liked slayers. What's wrong with you? Why are there so many roaches? Why? I guess I can cut off the sound by bumping into something. That's one design choice that was good, I guess. Yay, that's uh, that's a real nice thing, except if it kills you, it's just gonna dead you over again. So you can't always do that. So you never win. <gasps> the right in prime spot for killing. Yes! It's almost all of them dead. Boom. No more queens. I can just stash myself somewhere safe and kill these guys. I guess. If such a thing does exist, which it doesn't. 
Ugh, this room was horrible. Like, it's almost as if Kane realized that his room designs were way too good and decided, oh, well, let's make this horrible room now. That or his son decided to do that. Doesn't matter who made it. This isn't fun. I mean, I can excuse it being made if it's by someone who doesn't have any idea how to make a good room, but it doesn't change the fact that it's not good. That's what I was trying to say in that other video when it was revealed that this guy's son was the one who made these things. It doesn't really matter if you're good or not, if you know what you're doing or not. The thing of the fact is, the result ends up being bad, so the room is bad, and... Yeah... I mean, the best you can do is just kind of try to not make something so bad the next time you're trying to make a room. It's really the best you can hope to achieve, I guess. Okay, this is the perfect position to make something of a bunker. Boom! Bunker. That's not what I meant by bunker. Actually, you know what? This might actually be a lot easier now. The hordes are a lot less concentrated, so... Who knows? This could work out. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll still need several clone switches for that to ever work out fine. I mean, if I could have made my way to the brain, that would already make this a uh, hundred times easier, but meh. Actually, this is a manageable horde now. I made almost no use of the Slayer's body killing abilities. So just to show off, I'll do my next kills only body. Bo or body and sword kill. Boom. Show off. I failed to realize which one I am. That's bad. Ah! The end. For super duper really reels. I, if I don't see friend no more, it should be understood we have departed. Adios and Godspeed. Oh, it is the actual end. And there's hardly any teeth marks. Okay, so there's no secrets. The wall are just... Okay, that's what he was saying with the whole... Things going nowhere being his son's fault thing. Okay. Well, okay, difficulty, it wasn't that much more difficult, but I had a I had a blast playing through some of these rooms. And there were some rooms that required some legitimate thinking, so... Yeah, I think giving this an 8 is not too much of a stretch. I think that's pretty much the same score I gave the other one. Wait, I didn't rate this hold? Okay, it's, uh... I think it was the same thing. I think... I swore I rated that one, but okay. Anyway, next time we go back in time to War 14, where we start the journey. Entrance Zero, I'll see you in the next part. This has been B3 by Kina 7, and have a nice one until then. I think I mixed up things here, but it doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't matter. Goodbye.